demonstrate the gel card technique, we will be using one positive and one negative sample. Both samples are gently shaken in order to resuspend all of the cells. First, we identify the microtubes that will be used for each sample. The foil covering for the microtubes that are being used is peeled back. Now cells from the first sample are added to the first microtube. The same process is repeated for the second sample. Once again, the container is shaken to resuspend the cells. The cells from the second sample are added to the second microtube. Now, the correct amount of Lorne reagent is added to both microtubes according to the instructions for use. The card is then taken to be centrifuged. In order to balance the centrifuge, a second card is placed directly opposite the card containing the samples being tested. The card is then centrifuged according to the instructions for use. Different types of gel card may require different centrifuges, but the principle of balancing the cards remains the same. Once the card has been centrifuged, the results can be examined. The positive sample can be identified by the thin band of agglutinated cells near the middle of the microtube, whilst the negative sample has passed through to the base of the microtube.